everybody, I'm Robin and these are my reflections. And today we're here to take a look at the Rainbow Brain Skull Oracle. Look at that, it looks so cute. <laughs> um, this is a new uh, mass market version of the Oracle deck Rainbow Brain Skull Oracle that was an indie deck by Ramin, Ramin Nazar or Ramin Nazar. I'm not sure exactly how to say their name. But I did try to reach out to the creator to see if I could get this the pronunciation for their name. Um, because I was going back and forth between a few different ones and I don't know. I just don't know. So I'm just going to go with, I think I'm going to go with Ramin Nazar. So we'll see. We'll see if I'm right or wrong. Y'all let me know in the comments below. <laughs> the Rainbow Brain Skull Oracle deck, thoughtfully designed by artist Ramin Nazar, was created with the intention of helping you reconnect with your higher self. Complete with a unique and eclectic 72-card uh, Oracle deck and companion booklet, the Rainbow Brain Skull Oracle Deck aims to help you explore subjects of creativity, science, philosophy, and death using an explosion of electric colors and irreverent and insightful text. So is it Ramen Nazar? I feel like it might be just Ramen. I don't know. I'm, I'm like, having like a whole crisis over here about this man's name. I don't <laughs> I feel like it could just be Ramen Nazar or it could be... Um, Rami, I don't know. I'm having like a crisis. Okay, so he believes that when we see the bigger picture, we make better decisions and become more in tune with the flow of life. So charge the deck with your unique energy and see what messages Rainbow Brain Skull has in store for you. This is sent to me by Andrew McNeil Publishing. Shout out to Andrew McNeil for sending this over to me for purposes of review and so that I can share it with you. It's very pretty. Lots of a rainbow effect on it on the top and on the bottom and on the edges we like a rainbow effect um they are super cute the backs are plain black and they just say rainbow brain skull on the back and it's like a matte the book is glossy and there's not much inside of here it basically says what it said on the back of the box and then for each one you get a thumbnail and then just a little bit of you know food for thought basically so for the first one the card is relaxed it's still just the loading screen and then it says sometimes we forget everything that comes before you press play trust the process and take the time to warm up because the game is about to begin we always wish that we had more time to prepare right now you actually do and so it just gives you a little bit more food for thought and then that's it so they're all bordered with this sort of white kind of fluffy white border and then you get a bubble with a number in the bottom and the number correlates with the numbers in the guidebook so it just makes it easier to find them in the guidebook rather than trying to look them up by the words because there's so many words on the card so it says the work is whatever uncomfortable thing that is in front of you right now at this moment i think that these are really good inspiration or um motivational cards but if you like a motivational deck, but you don't like that sort of fluffy, um, kind of, you know, sweet saccharine motivational deck, you want something a little edgier or you want something a little bit more sarcastic, I would say I could call this deck. This one is going to do it for you. This one's going to do it for you. Um, the, the artwork is extremely, it feels like comic book artwork or uh, the illustrations feel very comic book style and um a little bit alien so if you like alien stuff <laughs> alien comic books i think you'll like this one so it says forever and wherever you will go the choice is always yours to vibrate high or vibrate low and then it says infinite freedom of thought is your foundation so just really nice thoughtful messages to make you think about where you are in the moment i think that these are meant for you to read Find where you are here and then think about how we can move through that or what's our next step going to be. They're very good for pushing you through to the next step. So think decks like the language of letting go or the surrender, you know, the power of surrender, but with a more, um, with an edgier vibe, you know, uh, just a little bit more edge to it. So it says, it's your own responsibility to expand instead of just contracting. I'm not a fractured being. I'm multifaceted. <laughs> Some in the otherworldly. And I think that, you know, you can take it as it is written on the card. But like I said, there's also a little bit more food for thought in the guidebook. But I didn't feel that I needed the guidebook 
at all when I was using this. I didn't pull it out hardly any. I did pull it out once or twice just to see. It was like one or two things. I was like, well, I wonder what they mean by that. But for the most part, I didn't need it. Just because they put a square on your head doesn't mean you're not still in school. <laughs> and I like that. I, thought, I think that was cute. Some of them are a little small to see, so I'm going to read them for you. This one says, you don't hate yourself. You hate not being yourself. This one doesn't have anything written on it. So then I did, of course, go into the guidebook because I was like, well, I wonder what this is all about, you know? So it is nice to have the book there available. So for this one, it says, take a break from cheering and jeering at the circus. Haven't you noticed that it's always been this way? No one is forcing you to participate. You can always step outside and do something else. So that's what this card is about. Just stepping away from the circus. Not my circus, not my monkeys kind of situation, you know? Too many ideas, same as no idea. I used to live in fear, so I know the area well. Yep, hasn't changed much. Love this card so much. <laughs> I'll be at the other end of the universe acting strange. <laughs> the thinking mind acts like it, like it's everything, but it's not. Jumping is scary. Staying frozen is scarier. Not all who wander are lost, but yes, yes, I am. For me, if I can't make it fun, I'm just not going to be able to do it. Listen, I saw this on Andrew McNeil's website when they posted this deck uh, for pre-order. And I saw this and I was like, "This if this is not me in a card, I don't know what is. <laughs> this sounds just like some shit I would say. So I was like, you know, I need this. I'm going to need this. You know? <laughs> I hereby grant you the power to make me unhappy. And so this is something really food for thought, right? Like it looks cute, but this deck really has a punch. It really packs quite a punch when you really stop to think about some of the things that are written on these cards, some of the energy that it's inviting us to focus in on, right? And what is really going on? Like if this card is coming up, what is really going on? You know, um, good night. Also, you didn't get enough done today. So now is this you, your internal self saying that to you? Or did you really not get enough done today? Um, do you need to be checked here? Or are you just being too hard on yourself? You know, um, the sun is going down. There's nothing that can be done. We can't stop that. You know, so it's like, let every cat out of every bag. The infinite ocean of ideas we're all allowed to swim in. Accept how you feel, then move through it. Never leave it blank. Make something stupid. Throw in vault. <laughs> That's cute. Um, I think that sometimes the words can get a little small and the details on the cards can feel a little small to see. So if you do have, like I wear glasses and sometimes I have to really zoom in with my, you know, really focus to see them. I can see them. But there are a few that teeter on, I almost can't see them, you know? Um, so there's that. There's that to consider. The point of sleep is to let it all go. Don't spend time on it. Spend time in it. You're never more than half step away from being back in the flow. I like that. Still not failing enough. <laughs> He's on fire and he's still not feeling enough. Not enough. The everyone story. <laughs> I love the Sour Patch Kids though. Like it's a whole movie. Like <laughs> Connection is the only game. No decisions, just grooving. Extremely slow, long-term growth. So there is a mix here. So you've got some cards that are just like, just be where you are. And then you have some cards that are like, okay, we need to move. We need to make a step forward or we need to get out of this stuck position. And then there are some cards that are like, there's um, a sort of universal consciousness that we need to be, that we have to overcome. And it's going to take more than just a card. We need to really think through this, you know? Um, have you considered that this could be something bigger than just your everyday thought process, that this could be some sort of universal consciousness that's weighing down on you? There are some really deep 
thoughts in this deck. Um, throw stuff out at wall. See what sticks. If nothing sticks, hang out in the pile. Good. Just been looking at screens a lot. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Just been looking at screens a lot. I've always enjoyed enjoying things. Who cares if we become nothing? We are all once nothing. We were all once nothing. Ride ends. Choose arm position. And so this one would be one I would probably look in the guidebook to see what does he mean by that, you know? Imagination and reality are scheduled to be inverted. <laughs> They're scheduled to be inverted. Oh, no. I think these cards really lend to storytelling type of reading. Because if I saw this card, the first thing that came to my mind was, can you imagine if you woke up one day and everything that you thought was real just became your imagination and everything that you have imagined just became true? Um, now I've got a story to build on and I can then throw tarot cards around that or just, you know, use my intuition to build further into it if I'm doing a reading for myself or others and I've got a topic to work from. So I think that these cards can be really intuitive as well. One thing at a time. The white space makes the makes it so that they're going to go with a lot of stuff. I control, wish I had some. <laughs> I love control, wish I had some. The more you create, the more the universe is. So this is like a oneness kind of thing, right? Like you create and the universe becomes. You don't create and there's nothing there. You know, it's just like a we work together to build. How you know that's what you want exactly? <laughs> I think it's like supposed to be like interesting, but like interesting, you know, like with an accent. <laughs> it's okay. You're not supposed to be doing anything right now. Yes, hi. I'd like for everything to stay the same. What would ultra intelligent imaginary me do? Grooving, falling apart. Or no, growing. That's growing and then falling apart. You're not supposed to always be happy. Let happy sleep. I love this one. There's no such thing as the end, only the strangest change there has ever been. Now, this one is one that I have a hard time seeing. Like, I was just like, I had to lean down to see this, you know? So just be aware that there are some in here. If you have eyes like my eyes, there are a couple cards. It's not a lot. There are 78 cards, I would say probably five or six are a little bit difficult to see. You choose every piece of content you consume. It's true. But we don't think about it, right? We, we choose it without thinking. And I think what, what could happen if we started to really think about those choices and, and, you know, integrate that thought process into our daily choices? You make a decision already so the story can move forward. Big mixed barrel of emotion. It'll never be perfect, so I'll, it says, it'll never be perfect, so I'll leave it blank and let the earth slowly consume me. Wow. Out, argue, bad narrative in head. Oh, I see. Out, argue the bad narrative in your head. Look at that. It's like consuming him. I mean, that's exactly how that bad narrative works, right? You get to control so many atoms. <laughs> me, also me, also me, also me. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Being out of ideas is just another idea. If only. I am a brand new teenager me, childhood me, baby me, plus source. So I don't know, maybe I should start from the middle. Maybe I should start from the inside here. Source plus baby me plus childhood me plus teenager me plus I am brand new. Yeah, I guess I do stuff, but I don't feel like an actual thing yet. <laughs> what are the things you care about? It ain't always going to be dirt. Death is just one character I play. My real name is Change. I love that. So cute. And here are the backs again. Um, so I said 78, but there are actually 72 cards. Sorry about that. Let's shuffle. 
I didn't say, but the cards are slightly bigger than a tarot deck. So if this is a tarot, let me just, let's do it like this. This is a normal size tarot deck. You can see they're a little bit wider, just a little bit wider and the same height as a regular tarot deck. This is a Hay House Oracle. And this is a regular old, regular, regular size tarot deck. You can see that the Rainbow Brain Skull is a slightly wider, but they're the same height. So you can consider them tarot size, but they are just slightly wider than a tarot card. It's going to give them a really good side shuffle here. It took me a long time to get a good mix on them the first time around because my hands are short the cards are just slightly thick and this edging i don't want to say i don't love it because i do when i shuffle like this the um the effect of this rainbow edging catching my eyes when i'm shuffling it is everything literally everything so i don't want to say that i don't love the edging but it does make it a little bit difficult for a ripple shuffle um because it's a little bit sharp on my fingers because i have short hands and the cards are a little bit stiff but all right so we have, there is more where that came from. We have number six. Now, one thing I did appreciate about this guidebook is that the card number matches the page number here because I can't see that, but I can definitely see this. So I know I'm looking for page six. They could have made it so that it wasn't like that, so that this was page two, and then that would have thrown everything off. So I really appreciate Andrew McNeil and the person who did the graphic design on this for, for uh, hooking us up that like way. like to read it for yourself. There's a couple you can read. So it says, the cosmos are always evolving and so are you. So much more is on the way. One day we will understand exactly what this era was all about and why it needed to happen. So there's more where that came from. Let's do one more. For me, <laughs> this is my favorite card. Oh my God, I can't believe it. It's my favorite one. For me, if I can't make it fun, I'm just not going to be able to do it. <laughs> okay, so here's a couple more if you'd like to read them for yourself. This one says, remember how to play? If you're not having a blast whenever you can, your childhood self will be quite disappointed. Get in touch with your inner child. They've been waiting this whole time. Do something that would make them smile real big. All right, and so that is the Rainbow Brain Skull Oracle. So what do you think about this one? Um, I love it. I think this is fun. The white backgrounds have made it really easy for me to put with just about anything. So, <laughs> so I've been using it with all kind of stuff, just throwing it on the table with all kind of stuff. But um, I'm like, I'm trying to think what would like be a real good match with it. I haven't found anything that I feel like is like a perfect match, but I just been throwing, like I said, I've been throwing it on the table with everything. If you have seen this, if you picked it up, tell me how you're using it, how it's going for you. Um, I think that this is going to, this has been working. I've been using this for like just afternoon polls, um, journaling kind of stuff. I, I have started journaling again. I wasn't doing it for a while, but I started journaling again. So this is really good for that as well. I really like to just pull the cards and think about them, to be honest. Um, but sometimes if I feel like inspired to journal, then I will do that with it. And that's what I've been doing with it. Um, it does work really well in daily pulls as well. If you're just looking for something to, like I said, if you're looking for something that will either push you forward and motivate you, inspire you, or make you think in your daily pulls, then these are going to be great for that. I think that these are going to be great for people who are working on hotlines. If you're just looking for something like someone's like, I just want a general reading, pull in something like this out will definitely give you somewhere to go with that reading, you know, um, especially if it speaks to you intuitively. So yeah, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, helps the channel grow, helps the videos get out there. If you want to see more from me, you can subscribe. I release videos every few days regarding Tarot and Oracle. Links to where you can pick this one up will be in the description box below. There will be an Amazon affiliate link because I'm an Amazon affiliate. If you do decide to purchase it from Amazon, I would appreciate it if you use the link. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps me out, gives me a couple of cents, helps the channel, helps me get things for the channel to show on here. So I do appreciate that. Until and I see you guys next time, stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye. Interesting. And how you know that's what you want exactly?
<laughs> this deck is so cute. <laughs>